So we're going to be testing out the world's first uh, red light therapy specific sensor. Um, this is a sensor that was custom calibrated. It was calibrated to uh, NIST standards. That's the National Institute of Standards and Technology that, that kind of regulates all kinds of standards for, for you know, standardization of me measurements. You need to have a standardization. So there's, there's national bodies that do that. So we calibrated this specifically for the wa wavelengths of red light therapy. It's got a cosine diffused milky white sensor. So that's good for LEDs as opposed to lasers. And um, so it's calculated that way. We wanted a wider range of wavelengths. So you can see we can cover pretty much all, all of the popular wavelengths from you know 1064 that's becoming very popular it does have a, a calibration curve um, but over the main wavelengths from like the 600s to the 900s it's plus or minus about um 20 percent so it's you know minus 0.2 if if you're in the lower wavelengths and it's almost plus 0.2 uh for the higher wavelengths and that works out perfectly we had it so all the standard 660 plus 850 combos, it kind of averages out. So even though there's kind of correction factors, if you only have single wavelengths, if you're combining red and near infrared, it actually averages out almost perfectly that you don't need a correction factor. So we're at this light, you know, we're at a, a fixed position at um, 34.9, so almost 35 milliwatts per centimeter squared, just a standard um 660 plus 850 wavelength like i said um if we're dealing with standard wavelengths and kind of a 50 50 mix of red and near infrared then this is a perfect sensor there's no extra work required um so we got the hopo color that's been measuring um very well compared to like my lab tests and i'm going to try to line up the sensors so they're kind of right over kind of the same kind of plane same distance And we can see, well, let's let it focus here, 34.2. So we, you know, we might be off by point, uh, you know, point 0.7. Uh, again, there's a little bit of variability, especially with the Hopo color, because um, it kind of integrates the calculation. And, uh, you know, we're not exactly at the same spot. We're very well lined up, and it's kind of a linear panel, so you should get pretty good results. So now, now we, you know, retook it, and it says 30.5. 34.5 so again we're only 0.4 off that's a fantastic result um, so there's no work required with this just sits sets up it's reading it in real time so you don't have to do this like where it has, has to take the measurement um, it's measuring in real time and again you can measure a whole range of wavelengths very accurately very simply um, it's got the cosine like I said, the cosine diffuser, that's kind of the white milky diffuser that works very well for LEDs, which are non-coherent. Um, so we're going to have some a very accurate meter um, available, hopefully for, for more people, for researchers, for manufacturers, to finally get a simple measurement, um, an easy display. So when we do videos, you can see the numbers. Sometimes, you know, this doesn't focus very well, or, or like I said, it's kind of funky how you have to take the measurement. Um, so it's really great. Um, measurement meter and hopefully should help revolutionize and, and maybe even standardize more of the measurements in this industry.